Hey guys, Steve here. I just wanted to show you really quick um, how AccuRC runs on a really, really old desktop computer system. This is a desktop we built for a customer in January of 2007. And it has a Q4 quad or Q6600 from that time. And uh, this computer was built right when that came out. This is a um, an Intel desktop board, so it features absolutely no overclocking or anything in it special. It's just very, very stock, very, very basic uh, motherboard with no performance. You know, you can't set voltages or CPU multipliers or anything, even though this is a, um, I believe you could, you know, if you had the right gaming motherboard with this CPU, you could do some, some cool multiplier settings and stuff to get this thing probably up to... Um, at the time, maybe 3.6, 3.5 gigahertz, somewhere in there. Um, this one stock only runs at 2.4 with a times 9 multiplier. Um, the memory on here, I've, in fact, I meant to put, I have a mismatched memory stick in here. Does this actually show that? No, I can't see that in here, but one of the memory sticks is slower. It's got 8, 8 gig of DDR. Two, which as you'll see on my display here, AccuRC doesn't even hardly use any RAM, uh, system RAM. But um, anyhow, it's got uh, DDR2 memory. Uh, the main board is a Intel desktop board of sorts, BIOS from 2009. This is up to date as that gets. Uh, what else to show? Anything? Oh yeah, here's where you can see the mismatched uh, memory timing. So I think slot 4 has the slower one in it, maybe. I don't remember. Anyway, one of them's not 6400, it's something slower. I don't remember. Anyway, it's not showing up in here, but I know one of them's slightly slower. It doesn't matter really for the test. Um, and in here is a Radeon 7700 series. When is this from? I'm not sure how old it is. It's probably a 20, um, at best 2012, at worst 2010 video card with uh, one gig of something. I think it's actually um, GDDR5. I don't remember for sure. If I bring up one of these, you, this guy, I can probably take a look. Let's, let's see what the specs on this sort of are. Anyway, it's a, it's a low end. It's a trash bin video card from a long time ago. Okay, so February 2012. Uh, this is the BIOS date on the video card, so it's still a pretty old video card. It was a low-end gaming card at the time it was purchased in early, beginning of 2012 anyway. And it's got GDD, GDDR5 on it, so I think, uh, I don't remember what was on cards right before that, but if you get an idea of the speeds and things on here, it's got one gig of that on board. Anyway, if you're wondering about that. And the clocks here are, those are just idle clocks if I spin it up a little bit. And then just, yeah, you see that refresh. So the core is actually running at 1 gigahertz, and the memory is running just barely above 1 gigahertz. So that's about what we're about to run um, accuracy on. Very, 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 um, it wasn't, I mean, it was a nice desktop computer. It wasn't a gaming machine in uh, January of 2007 and this card is just it's old but just new enough that we have DirectX 11 capability on it I don't think it'll do DirectX 12 but the uh, AccuRC requires DirectX 11 so let's fire up the sim and see what this will do uh, and you, you see I got the overlay here showing what we're uh, how much GPU is in use and CPU utilization all that I do not have a local display on this. I'm actually viewing this through the streaming display that is um, being recorded. Um, that video card is so old, I don't know if it'll do 1080 in accuracy very well or not. Um, so I'm going to start at 720. I may do, you know, I may do another, try another video at 1080p later on with this really, really low spec system just to see how, how it does. Um, but I know it absolutely rocks at 720. <laughs> um, so we'll go ahead and fire up back here. See, I, I thought 
you might want to see the load time and all that. This has a SATA 128 uh, gigabyte SSD in it, which is slow by today's standards, but uh, fast by, you know, when this computer was originally built, it had a magnetic hard drive in it, which way, way slower than, uh, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and load AccuRC. I see it eat some system RAM while it's loading. I hope I left the transmitters over on the other side of the room. I hope I left it on uh, so we'll be here. I'll, I'll just I'll show you the graphics things we're at right now. So I'm here we're we're uh, 720 ultra high. Any aliasing is high. Uh, all the stuff's turned on. Fire up the sim. If I forgot to put throttle hold on, it's going to take off on us. I got to go find my transmitter. Um, this is going through a video capture device, so um, I think there's ever so slightly some lag going through it, but I need to have a local display on the PC when I'm doing this. Anyway, you're getting a look at the load time on a PC from 2007, beginning, very beginning of 2007 some of the first quad cores that came out so we got here just idle we're sitting at 60 frames per second GPUs got very little use from what I'd expect yeah. and I don't know anything about software but I would ask uh, is there a way to maybe I need to turn this up more but I'm just surprised it's doing that well on this old of a GPU so I'll see if I can your time back but oh, I am gonna bail out of that uh, try another one. But yeah this is a very 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 old PC and not a gaming system by any means that that card maybe would have been considered a low-end gaming card at the time kind of missed the landing pad here I'll do one more auto I'm not happy with it. here we go see I'm I just gravitate toward those uh, left-hand pure flips. I had to bail out of that too. And try it again. And I'll bail out, of the, bail out of the invert sooner so I can actually make the landing spot. stop when I hit the landing pad, one way or another. It's like I'm just barely getting on it. I'm looking at this through a tiny, <laughs> I'm looking at this through a tiny window on OBS trying to fly this, that might be part of my problem. I'm watching this through a capture window, which is very small. See, I can't even skid into the damn thing. Someday I'll land on this 
golf green. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. There we go. <laughs> Still not. Can't believe I'm flying this on this little like five inch display. It's bigger than five inches, but it's small. Skid. No. I can't feel it. All right. What do we got here? Enough speed that maybe. Still ain't gonna happen. Boring you guys to death because I won't take no for an answer. I won't bore you guys anymore. It's hard to land on in this configuration or, or whatever. Take care. Have fun. Bye.